On this channel, we previously discussed how to get pregnant. And usually, this is one of the most exciting phases in someone's life. It's filled with new experiences, beautiful memories, and ultimately, a newborn baby. And in most pregnancies, things go all right and there are no problems. However, when things do go wrong, they can potentially be life-threatening. And there's where this video comes in. I want to make you aware of all the potential red flags and I want to provide you with useful tips and tricks to hopefully prepare you as best as possible on your pregnancy. My name is Raoul, I'm a medical doctor from the Netherlands and it's my mission to medically educate you, my viewer, because educated people make healthier decisions, which is the whole point of this channel. So let's get learning. Now the best way I know to discuss potential problems during a pregnancy is to do so chronologically, as certain medical problems only occur in a certain phase of pregnancy. As you might know, a pregnancy is usually divided in three trimesters, as a pregnancy takes about nine months and a trimester is a period of three months. Nothing new there. During each trimester, a specific phase of fetal development does occur. So let's start at the beginning. You want to become pregnant and in order to give your child and yourself the best possible chances, there are some potential steps you could take. It's often advised to take about 400 milligrams of folic acid every day from the moment you start trying up until you're 12 weeks pregnant. This is necessary because folic acid reduces the risk of your baby having neural tube defects, such as a spina bifida. Next up, if you smoke, please quit smoking, as smoking is linked with several potential health problems for your unborn baby. For example, a premature birth, a low birth weight, sudden infant death syndrome, and even miscarriages. The same is true for consumption of alcohol, as alcohol can pass through the placenta and cause several effects on your baby. The more you drink, the greater the risk, so try to avoid it completely. It's also important to maintain a healthy weight, as being overweight is associated with a lower fertility, and when you are pregnant, having a higher weight can lead to several medical problems, such as a high blood pressure, deep vein thrombosis, miscarriages, and diabetes. This is why consuming a healthy diet and regular exercise is often advised to pregnant women. Next up, if you're using any medication, please discuss this with your personal doctor, as not all medicines are safe to take when you're pregnant. And lastly, some infections can be disastrous for a pregnant woman and your unborn baby. Luckily, there are vaccinations for some of these and it might be wise to discuss this with your personal doctor. Hopefully you were able to follow all of these advices and you managed to become pregnant. Which brings us to the first trimester, which runs from week 0 up until week 13. During this period, a baby's body structure and organ systems will develop. Your body also needs to get used to being pregnant, therefore it will undergo many changes. Most importantly, being pregnant has a huge impact on your hormonal balances. These changes in your hormone levels will ultimately cause the changes your body will undergo. For example, your uterus, placenta and breasts start growing. This may put pressure on your bladder, creating the feeling that you need to pee. Furthermore, you will feel tired, may experience mood swings and will gain about 1-2 to two kilos in this phase. This partly comes from the increased blood value. This leads to an increased stress on your cardiovascular system, leading to an increased heart rate, breathing rate and blood pressure. All these hormonal changes might also lead to morning sickness. This can happen, despite the name, at any time of the day, where you will feel severe nauseousness and you may need to vomit. Lastly, most miscarriages and birth defects occur in this period. These are usually due to genetic or chromosomal abnormalities. I hope you're finding this video helpful. If you do, please consider to click the like and subscribe button. It will help out your channel tremendously and will make me able to help more people. It's free and you can always change your mind. Let's continue. Which brings us, as you might have guessed, to the second trimester, which is called the golden period, because most of the symptoms you experience from the first trimester will decrease in this trimester. It runs from week 14 up until week 26. As mentioned, you're likely to experience decreased nausea, have a better sleeping pattern and have increased energy levels. However, on the downside, you might develop a whole new set of symptoms, such as back pain, constipation, food cravings, heartburn, itching, hemorrhoids, lack cramps, edema, dizziness 
and shortness of breath. In addition, you will also gain an additional 6 kilograms in this trimester due to other changes in your body. Your hair will also become thicker as well as your fingernails. Lastly, the mental aspect of being pregnant starts to sink in. This might make you anxious, especially with all the tests that will need to be done in this trimester. Your mind might wander and it might be more difficult to focus on your work or at home. Although it's much more rare, miscarriages can also occur in the second trimester. Reasons for a miscarriage in the second trimester are, for example, if the cervix opens too early, the placenta detaches from the uterine wall, or because of eclampsia. This is characterized by pregnancy-induced high blood pressure, which can lead to seizures, comas, and even miscarriage. Hopefully, you're making it through to the final trimester, running from week 27 to week 40. You are actually in the final stretch, and I can imagine that you're quite anxious and curious at the same time. The unfortunate part is that physical complaints usually increase in this last trimester. These physical symptoms are partly caused by the increased size of your uterus, which start to put a lot of pressure on your other internal organs. Therefore, you might experience shortness of breath, fatigue, back pain, hemorrhoids, urinary incontinence, varicose veins, and sleeping problems. In addition, several serious complications might also occur in this trimester. There might be too much or too little amniotic fluid in the sac around the fetus. Too much fluid can put too much pressure on the mother's uterus, leading to preterm labor or breathing difficulties. This fluid tends to build up in cases of uncontrolled diabetes, a twin pregnancy, incompatible blood types between the mother and the child, or a birth defect. Too little fluid may be a sign of birth defects growth retardation or stillbirth. I want to end this video off with some final advice. If you do experience any of the previously mentioned symptoms or if you're worrying, then please contact your doctor or your midwife. They can help you to find out the extent of your symptoms and hopefully find the underlying cause. This will give you the best chances on a healthy pregnancy. I hope you learned a lot. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section and I will do my best to answer each and every one of them. For those of you that can't get enough, also check out the Instagram or Facebook at How to Medicate for some behind the scenes content. And I also made a playlist in the description of the video with more awesome content. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. This will help out your channel tremendously. And I will see you next week with a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.